Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Today we're going to talk about ideal base absorber panel placement. Low frequency energy issues are pressure related, so we need a pressure uh, reactive device, something that absorbs uh, pressure or deals with pressure to create absorption. Foam is not one of them. Please don't uh, use foam and call it a base absorber because it's not. Low frequency is about pressure, and low frequency absorption is about managing that pressure. So what do we need to do? Where is the pressure in the room? Well, the pressure in the room is always greatest upon around the room boundary surfaces, and it's spread throughout the room in the middle also. So we have to be very careful with our speaker positions, very careful with our listening positions. So our goal is then to reduce the pressure around the boundary surface of the room using a pressure activated device. So always the boundary surfaces of the room are a good place to start for pressure management. But that said, we can narrow that focus down even further. What are our two pressure producing devices in the room? Our left and a right channel. So the energy created by these two devices is going to be really high through here between the speakers in the front wall. It's going to be really high through here between the speakers in the side wall. If you don't have the capital or the money to treat your whole room, this is the first area that you start with. When we, when people buy our BDA products, our low frequency absorption products and build them themselves, I always tell them, this is your start point for positioning because this is the highest pressure area in your room. It's where you get the most acoustic benefit. So one unit minimum behind each speaker will make a huge difference. Two in most rooms is usually ideal. So we're all about reducing the pressure and it's the front wall to speakers that has the highest pressure. The corners in the front wall are the next high pressure area. So that's a placement area that we want to look at. The corners back here are also important, but not as important as these two front wall corners. And then the rear wall to ceiling is another uh, issue that we have. So we always want to place our low frequency absorption management technology in the areas where pressure is the highest. Not air movement, we're not concerned with the movement of the air, we're concerned with the pressure in the room because our room dimensions won't allow low frequency energy to fit. So we put our pressure management devices around the perimeter of the room and then we focus on the front end of the room where the energy producing devices, our speakers are. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a thumbs up so I know that it had value to you. And please, if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section, and I'll be more than happy to answer them for you. Alternatively, if there are other topics that you wish to discuss, discuss or see discussed in a video presentation, send me a, an email, info at acousticfields.com, and uh, we'll get them on our list and, and get them done for you. I release a new uh, video about every week, so stay tuned to our YouTube channel and keep uh, updated on our new videos.